but just something that you should be mindful of is scalability as it relates to information architecture. Now, as it relates to your information architecture, you've heard me say several times during this video the importance of defining your tools and rules. And, you know, again, having or developing a, a shared uh, vernacular or shared dictionary, the source, however it is that you want, shared language, um, you know, regarding specific tools, um, it does become important to understand your organization more broadly. And just using this Netflix example, a lot of us or, you know, several of us don't just have Netflix, right? Yet we are still interested in watching movies, right? And so as a result of that, you might have subscriptions to Hulu, to Disney Plus, to Amazon Prime. And so, you know, unfortunately, these tools tend to not work together. You tend to have individual subscriptions with, you know, the individual platform. Um, but we have a little bit more flexibility as it relates to our enterprises, um, particularly as it relates to most of the tools or the digital tools and systems that we use in order to manipulate and, and, and share and distribute our, our knowledge, right? And so just some things that I want you to be mindful of are, you know, being able to have um, specific language and rules as it relates to the individual tools that you are using, but then also the importance of having a, a broader sort of uh, language and understanding as it relates to the way that your tools are working and engaging with one another in order for you to manipulate and to share information. And when I use the phrase manipulate, I really don't want you to you know, leverage that or, or to see that as something that is negative. What I really mean is that you are take you're processing information and, and turning that into something else. And so if we are then mindful of the typical information worker, what your average day is like, you know, perhaps you get an email and your email is from your boss saying, hey, we need this report by this time. Um, you know, can you get it done? And so you might do several things. You might send a quick reply that says confirmed, or you might send a text message. You might then log into your calendar tool and you know, set a deadline for yourself. Uh, you might um, pull up your favorite text processing tool in the form of you know, a spreadsheet or you know, Excel or a spreadsheet tool or you know, Google, uh, Google, or Google Docs or Microsoft Word. And then you begin the process of you know, perhaps logging into different research databases or you might need to pick up the phone and call a customer, right? And so all of these different tools are being incorporated into the way that we are translating that information and organizing it and architecting it into something else. And so it then becomes really important, again, in, in order to develop shared understanding is being able to have specific language as it relates to these individual tools, but then also broader organization or enterprise level language that then helps to communicate things in the form of, you know, what, what sort of value is being delivered, right? And who that value is being delivered to. An internal memo and the rules for sharing and disseminating information and an internal memo is gonna look a little bit different, not completely different, but a little bit different than the way that you would, you know, perhaps share a contract or a proposal to a client or an external vendor. And so uh, understanding that, and that's where then enterprise resource planning comes in, is in the form of understanding how all of these tools, how they work together, right? How we as individuals, leverage and work with these tools, but then how they all work together so that we can then translate or, tra or transmit value. And, that, and value, all value is in this instance is being able to take information and elevate it, not just from a bunch of text and a bunch of information, but you know, being able to, you, to, to put our own sort of spin on it, right, in the form of our subject matter expertise and being able to add value to the people who are requesting information or requesting deliverables for us. And that then becomes the elevation of information into knowledge and from knowledge into wisdom. And that's why we get paid. People get paid us, or people pay us for the things that we can do based off of the experience that we have right, and based off of our unique way of seeing the world, which is typically represented in the companies that we work for and the departments that we work within, and then our job titles. That then helps us to understand what our responsibilities are. And so broadly, understanding the way that the enterprise, the organization, is 
is, 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 is structuring or, or manipulating that information is really on understanding each tool on an individual level, but then being able to take a step back and understand how these tools are working together in order to translate information into knowledge and ultimately wisdom.